Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Pharaoh J, coming to you again with another edition of Pharaoh's Wisdom. Now, today is another topic brought to you by my good friend, Curtis, CK Thomas 77 hit him up on Twitter. And today I'm going to talk about blackouts, or like we call it, selective memory. Now, first off, I want to start by saying that blackouts are never, never an acceptable excuse of me. You got to be a little more creative. You know, you flipped your car on the freeway or, you know, your dog died. You know, the dog that you haven't seen in a couple years but still care about. But never blackouts. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. Come on. You're at a party, you know, you drinking a little much. You forget what happens because you're drunk. And the next day, you, you know, talk to your friends like, oh, what happened last night? Oh, girl, you have no idea. You made out with Kelly's boyfriend. You're like, I did what? You're like, you should really go talk to Kelly. So you go up to Kelly and you're like, Kelly, what happened last night? Don't even see you made out my boyfriend Jake. You're like, I'm so oh my god, I was totally blacked out. Oh, that's okay. It's okay you made out my boyfriend because you were blacked out. We need we as a culture need to stop accepting this as an excuse. I mean, you know, you make lunch friends with your you know, you make lunch plans with your friends, but you go out with some other friends the night before, you drink a little much and you go home with some guy you don't know, and you know you oversleep because you're hungover, and your friend calls you like Hey, so, girl, why were you late for lunch? Like, oh, my God, girl, like, I totally, I just blacked out. Like, went, I went home with somebody I didn't even know. Oh, my God, and I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, girl, I get it because you're blacked out. That's okay. The conversation should have really went like this. So, hey, how'd you, why'd you miss our lunch? Girl, I, I drank too much. You know, I hooked up with some people I shouldn't have, and I was just too hungover today. Oh, okay, I mean, we have plans, but, you know, that's okay, because you were honest with me, I understand. That happens to the best of us. But this is just ridiculous. Like, if you black out, it makes it okay. So what happens if I black out and take that $100 bill out your wallet, and the next day I come I come to your house with a, you know, a stack of new video games? You're like, that's weird. Last night I had this $100 bill. Oh, those are some new games. Where'd you get those? I just bought these from Best Buy. I had a $100 bill. I lost a $100 bill. Oh, man, I was blacked out. Oh, okay, dog, I get it. You was blacked out. Were you blacked out when you spent the $100 bill, too? Honestly, come on. That just... In that situation where, you know, the girl made out with her girl's friend, it should have went like this. Hey, girl, what, what happened last night? You made out with my boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. I was blacked out. Like, see, this is a slap in the face. Every nine times out of ten, that's a slap in the face. I don't care if you drunk. If you high, whatever. Blacking out is never an excuse. You can't, you can't just use, you can't use that. It doesn't work like that. I mean, I wish it worked like that in the real world, you know. You show up at work a little late, and you got an important meeting. Your boss comes up to you, hey, hey, Jackson, Jackson, you got that presentation? You know we got that important investors meeting today. This kind of make or break our company. Oh, b boss. I'm, man, I blacked out. You what? I blacked out, right? That, that, it's okay, because I blacked out, right? Um... There's a cardboard box under your desk for this kind of situation. Put all your shit in it and get the hell out. You're fired. <laughs> that's, that's what would happen in the real world. Or, for instance, you're in a, you know, a serious adult relationship. You guys are getting married. It's your wedding day. Your girl's sitting up at the altar. You know, they're like, you know, where is this? You know, you show up stumbling down the aisle like, hey, hey, baby. He's like, where have you been? <laughs> oh, oh, don't even I blacked out. Okay, let's just get married. I'll, it's fine. You know, we've all been waiting here for eight hours, and we paid millions of dollars or thousands of dollars for this venue, and it's all good because you blacked out. No, no. Your girl's gone. Her, her dad comes up, or her brother hitting you in the face. It, it's done. Your relationship is probably over. So in the future, when you do something stupid or say something dumb, just own up to it. When you black out, as people use it, it's really selective memory. When you drink a lot and get drunk, you just, you're more likely to do stuff that you wouldn't do sober. It's stuff you want to do, but you won't do it because you talk yourself out of it or you know it's dumb. Make it out with your best friends, man. This is dumb. I mean, it's okay. We get it. You Sometimes you're going to be attracted to your roommates or, or your, you know, your friends, girlfriends, or boyfriends. That's understandable. Just own up to it. Just be like, you know what? Your boyfriend's cute, but I, we're good friends. I would never go there. Don't be like, I blacked out. Really, what you're, what you're telling them is, I drank a lot, so I would get rid of my inhibitions. And... You know, we're really not that good of friends anyway, so I made out your you made out your man. The thing is, when you black out and you're constantly using that as an excuse, how are people going to trust you in the future? They may, you know, let that go. They may not get mad at you for it, They may, but in the back of their head, they're going to keep it. They're like, okay, you know, I know when such and so, when Kelly or when Jessica or when Mike or when Rick drinks a lot, I know I can't be telling them secrets because I can't trust them. And I know they're going to do some stupid stuff, and that really puts a strain on friendships, relationships, or any kind of, you know, anything, really. 
So the next time you start drinking, just, you know, keep control yourself. And if you do do something stupid, own up to it. Don't black out, as you say. Because it's, it's not an excuse that I'm going to take, and it's not an excuse that anyone else should take. Anyway, rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my channel, True Life, I'm a Pharaoh. This is your boy, Pharaoh J. Hope you guys have a great week. Peace.